non sky view. Together. After that, we're going to put in here November 4 3, and the airport is already busy here at uh, 7, almost 7 a.m. I'm going to go direct November. It won't be saved if I didn't put it in here yet. 4 3. Orange County traffic, Cessna 89 X rays, left base runway 4, Orange County. And we'll put that in here. And move it over to the dine on screen with that magenta line. Good to taxi to Forbes, check the Orange weather one more time. Uh, Wind calm, visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 17 Celsius. Dew point 17 Celsius. Altimeter 3017. Remarks. 3017 Density altitude 3017 altimeter winds are calm so what you do is in the calm weather uh, you take off the most northern uh, runway is the rule of thumb Orange County traffic turkey at cross So it's a nice runway. day not too humid out. Hopefully the uh, it, was, it was very hot the last couple of weeks very hot and humid to the point where uh, uh, the uh, Cameras were just turned off because they're so overheated. Orange County traffic, Cessna oh. 89 X ray, short final runway 4, Orange County. I'm sure a lot of guys who do aviation YouTube stuff with the GoPros and they overheat. I'm sure the other ones overheat too, they get kind of pissed because it messes your whole video up and it looks, it looks kind of crappy, but it's okay. Oh, we're going to get um, flight following, so put that in standby. 3275, that's New York approach. And with the Avidine, you don't have to put one. Uh, you just put 3275. And it says New York Approach in the bottom of that. Back to map. Got plenty of fuel. Um, I'm going to do my run up up here, and I'm going to switch tanks to my side. It's the fullest tank, 24 gallons. And I got 21 on the right side. I think it's only 60, yeah, 63 nautical mile flight, 26 minutes. And we're going to go up to 4,500, so put the altimeter, reminder, 4,500. Orange County traffic, Cessna 89 x rays. I never thought I had to use this in an airplane, ever, when I first started to fly. That's what, that's what ever happened, where those sunglasses or your iPhone or your whatever smartphone you might have, you know, you wipe it down. I never had a thought I had to wipe down a plane. Uh, panel before <laughs> because of the fingerprints. So that was pretty funny this morning. I was like, I had to clean these screens. They look kind of, uh, you know, I dirty from all my the, fingerprints. Uh, <laughs> Orange, you have the charity in front of you in sight. So. Yeah, Jane, we have uh, traffic. Okay, I did that already, so I just wanted to show you guys that. So we're going to do the run up and the checklist to make sure we're all okay. So we'll do this with you quick. I just don't like wasting all the batteries, so but it's okay here. So brakes are set. 
the fuel's a proper tank. That's your first one. Now I'm going to turn it over to my side. One thing I don't like, one of the very, very few things I don't like about the Mooney is the uh, the uh, fuel tank change on the floor. you got to take your belt off to do it unless you have one of those um, plastic things that people have in their plane, which I have in the back, actually. I should actually use it when I'm in flight. Okay, so we're there with a trim. And down below here is a uh, trim for takeoff indicator. Uh, you put the little, little piece on that on that uh, takeoff. And then flight controls. Up, down. Up, down. Looks good. Free and correct. Free and clear. No obstructions. I also do the hands-on stuff. I do my walk around, which I do every time. The instruments, we're all looking good. We're all in the green. Uh, make sure that's full. I'm going to go up to uh, 1900 at 2000 RPMs. We'll go to 1900. Pretty close. Oh, look at that. Right on, uh, almost on 1900 exactly. And then we'll do a right and left mag check. So left mag. Okay, good drop there. Go back to both. Right mag. A nice drop again. Back to both. And what the next step is, we're going we're gonna to cycle the prop. So we're going to look for RP, uh, oil pressure drop. Oil pressure drop. Back in. Look for any leaks, any uh, the hub. So we're going to pull back out again. Think no oil on the windshield. Okay, the prop's good. Got oil on there. And then the uh, car peat test. So we're going to pull the car peat out. You're looking for a drop of... Uh, 50 around the bouts and uh, just about 60 70 uh, rpm drop 60 yeah, pretty close to that this is okay we have no vacuum it's we don't have a vacuum system in this airplane um, fuel pressure is good oil pressure is good oil temperature is good idle Make sure that doesn't stall out. Well, what I like to also do is we'll pull that car peat out and see if it... Perfect. No stall. Okay, go back to 1,000. 1,000 RPMs like that. Just it's just a nice RPM when you're idling uh, with the like homings. Okay, so we're there. We're done with that. Pre-takeoff checklist is... So the run-up is done. Uh, flaps 15. So another indicator in the bottom. Flaps are at 15. Mixer will be at full rich. Carburetor heat is off. Um, pedo heat is that we don't need a pedo heat. That's all. Fuel pump will come on shortly. I don't like to waste a lot of the fuel. Uh, a lot of I don't like to keep the, the fuel pump on while we're sitting here. But always remember, always remember to go back to it. Uh, we're gonna check the compass on the taxiway, and we're gonna, we're squawking already VFR, and then the doors locked. And of course, I gotta take this off because it's made it tighter. Because last time I traveled, it was bumpy, which was Sunday, which that video will be coming out shortly. And where do we leave off here? Doors, land light is on. My taxi, leave the land light on. Strobes are on. Time break. I'll go to timer, and we'll start the timer up here. Run. Okay, going up. Looking good. Okay, and we're all set for that. And take off is obviously is full throttle, 27 RPMs. And if we look for manifold pressure, oil pressure, and then rotate it at 70 miles an hour or 60 knots. Okay, put that over here. Checklist is complete. We're all good to go. And let's start taxiing over to the hold short. Running a little late today. I'm going to kick it up a notch. I just threw my uniform on here instead of there because I'm a little behind schedule this morning. So it's okay. We got New York approach on standby. Orange County traffic, uh, Booney, 8th of November. Anybody at short base to a final for four Orange County? Orange County traffic, uh, Booney, 8th of November, taking four for departure. Orange County. Okay, menu. Oops, wrong display. Keep doing that. Full screen. Fuel pump coming on now. Pump is on. Let's 
line up the runway, four, no traffic left, no traffic right. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay, everything's good. We'll make sure rich, possible forward, 15 flaps. Let's roll. Everything's in the green. And full power is in, full power. 50. 60. 70. Back pressure. We'll get that gear up. Hands back on the throttle. All right, looking good. That flat's coming up. In Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November left crosswind. Four, Orange County. Traffic, Moody departure path to the southwest, climbing through 1400. See ya. Okay, pull that power back a little bit. Let's go 25, 25. Let's save the neighbor's uh, eardrums over here. Okay, get it pretty close. Okay, fuel pump's coming off now. Playing lights coming off. And let's go over to New York. What I like to do is I don't like to jump in. Just give it a second. And New York, good morning, uh, Mooney, November 6, 8, 8, 7 November, with a request. 6, 8, 8, 7 November, go ahead. Good morning, sir. Uh, just part of Orange County, heading southwest, requesting flight following to Brayton Air Park. November 4, 3, uh, climbing through 2,400 for 4,500. November, Roger, Squawk 0326, ident, standby. 0326, ident, 8, 7 November. So 1020, go direct pots down. Mark 3, EPS, 2259, 2000, climb at 3000. 5595, good morning, high route to 10 miles. EPS, 2259, uh, near departure, good morning, we're at a contact, climb maintain 5000, turn left, direct to Weird, and say again, you're out to the leaving. 5000, left turn direct to Weird, we are leaving 2300, EPS, 2259. Thank you. 7 November, you're ready to contact 2 miles west of Orange County, maintain VFR, advise of any altitude change, steward altimeter 3018. 3018, uh, we'll advise you of any altitude changes for 8 November, thank you. So 1984, direct to Lancaster, climb maintain 17000. Sorry, that's for American. American 1984, direct to Lancaster, altitude is 17000. That is affirmative, thank you. Alpha 1020, contact New York Center 12532, good day. 7 November, what is your type aircraft and destination again? Uh, Mooney M20C, sir, and headed to Britain Air Park, November 43. 7 November, thank you. Pulse checked in. 1505, good morning, expect higher altitude in 15 miles. 2318 uh, New York departure, go direct to Merritt, call and maintain 17000. Beautiful morning. Some haze and some low spots, some uh, fog and some low spots. 1505, uh, traffic's 1 o'clock and 10 miles northeastbound, leveling at 7000. It's going to be a uh, Airbus. 
Go to clear up. Good night, 1084, New York Center, 12532. Good day. We'll get a 500 feet reminders shortly. Good and about 300 feet. Right to Mikey G, climb and maintain 17,000. GPS 2259, climb and maintain 6,000. I maintain 6,000, GPS 2259. GPS 2259, contact Boston, 34-3, good day. GPS 2259, contact Boston, 34-3, good day. 34-3, good day, GPS 2259. Okay, contact Boston, 1-3-4-3, good day. Fifteen zero five. That traffic's now two o'clock and four miles eastbound at seven. Oh, here's your highway in the sky. You're on the Good course. Heading. Fifty. Good morning. Climb and maintain eight thousand. Okay, four thousand five hundred. Let's level off. Trip down just a smidgen. All right. Now let's pull this power back a little more. So jet 550 climb now to 1717,000. Let's keep that altitude at 4500. We are VFR flight following, but he did request that we re tell him any altitude changes, so let's pay attention to that this trip here. Once you get it trimmed, it'll, it'll kind of stay where it needs to be. Brickyard 5595, contact New York Center 12532, good day. Sujet 550, best ready to climb through 11,000, maintain 17,000. Beautiful day. They're going to probably change this to uh, 27, uh, I forget the other. I haven't actually been down this way in uh, quite a while. Jet Blue 1505, climb and maintain 17,000. Seven November contact New York approach one two seven point six. Have a good day. Twenty seven six now. Praise number. Good day. Thank you. Hey, New York. Good morning. Uh, Moody eight seven November is with you. Uh, Four thousand five hundred. Twenty seven November. Good morning. The altimeter three zero. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat that, sir, in the up tenor. Zero one five. Zero one five is the number, thank you. Okay, everything's looking good. We're all in the green. That's a good sign. Gears up, flaps are up, fuel pumps off, landing lights off. Could probably do a little mixture back, a little bit more. Left turn headed uh two ten. 152-ish miles an hour and about 141 knots. We're about 73% power right now. Merger into the heavy water, flat out is 4 right, altimeter is 15. 386 down to 3,000. Heavy direct gritty down to 4,000. Okay, all looking good here. We're at 4,500, 148 ish miles an hour, and we're about 137 knots, 73% uh, power, 9 gallons an hour. A little bit rich, very little, but that's okay. Metros are all in the green. That's approved, 5500, clear through, bud. Altimeter is 15. How you doing? The sun is right on this. I don't know if it's going to be a glare with that camera.
And the next uh, controller to be Allentown. Information, uh, Braden Air Park. So 1,400 feet is your pattern altitude. Uh, 397 feet MSL, it's at sea level, so you round it up a little bit. And you're gonna get 1,400 for your pattern altitude. Remember, it's 1,000 feet over the uh, MSL. The comp, 2300, that's, that, that's like the five airports have that in that area, so it gets kind of crazy sometimes on a busy day. The request. Um, they have Navgas and Jet A, hangars and TIA tie downs available. No problem, tire left 050. Zero zero 43 nautical miles away, heading is 236, 18 minutes. We're right on sketch, you're making up time actually. Speed 86 out of 2000. Speed 86, yeah, down to 2. At emerge 880 heavy, you're 12 from Gritty Cross, Gritty at 3, and out of 4 right. Put 2300 to standby over there. Actually, I'll put it down here so I can listen to see if anybody's in a pattern over there. Oh, well, not yet. And let's see if I can get the weather over there. I don't have weather at the airport, but let's see what the nearest um, station is 40 miles away. I could go to Allentown. Um, ah, looks like it's... Um, um, Little off course. See, now the highway in the sky is off to our right. <laughs> sort of little, little off course. It's amazing when you have the uh, steam gauges. When you're a little off, you don't really realize when you're a little off. You know, uh, but when you have digital, you know you're off, and it's like it's it aggravates you a little bit because you're off. You're heading by a little bit, or altitude by a little bit. So it's. Uh, different for sure and if you don't like that view well uh, you could go to uh, the uh, six-pack which is right here there you go and you have the highway in the sky in the background and you also have six left to synthetic vision in the background you have your uh, that's what I'm used to right here <laughs> so The maps look good. There's no traffic really in the area. Um, heavy, speedy, discretion, monitor the tire report good. Over no TFRs. I checked that this morning. Make sure. I know not. I, you know, I know somebody who knew somebody recently who flew into a TFR. Like you know, and uh, the president was here, pretty close, and uh, just. Uh, it discourages you a lot when you get caught up in that because you go through a, you go through a brutal brutal investigation um, and with today's world you know unfortunately that's what it is what it is uh, and it's kind of like forget it, I'm not gonna fly no more but you should really say to yourself let me check no tams let me check uh, um, speed 86 five for the mark that's zero let me check uh, uh, zero to the establish but out of six get bars to make sure wherever I'm going there isn't any uh, well, all the technology today, even, right even, here, on your, even on your phone, your smartphone, 25, uh, with foreplay and these little apps that are really in inexpensive, $100 a year, you get foreplay. I mean, it's less than $10 a month to keep you out of trouble. And you can put it on your iPad and your phone for $100 a year. So uh, definitely invest in that, uh, and it keeps you out of trouble, for sure. Okay, let's go back to my other screen. Now I'm used to... I have in the six pack. The highway in the sky is there. And it gives you some airports out there. Three, four nautical miles away. Looking good right now. Plenty of fuel. A little bit of, well, it's a little, very little of a quarter and crosswind here component, but it's, it's really nothing. Let's go over here. I'm going to check something out. Central. We did six tower, 19.5. See you. Let's go to Allentown here. Uh, let's go to weather. Oh, there's severe VFR. 
Winds are calm. It's clear. Uh, we have temperature at 19 Celsius, 2.16 Celsius, and temperature is at spread is at 3 Celsius. 2687 November contact, Allentown, 12445, 2445, good morning. 2445, good morning. Uh, talk to you later. I give it a second. Allentown, good morning, uh, Mooney, 8th of November is with you, 4,500, going to Britain Air Park, November 4-3. Hey, 7 November, Allentown approach, Allentown altimeter 3016, advise prior to descent for Braden. 3016, the altimeter, and we will advise you of any altitude changes, sir, for 8th of November. Okay, so 3016. Bonanza 681, Victor, Allentown. Very, not, very little change. We're going to descend actually in about uh, five miles so slowly. We're at 30 nautical miles away. A1 Victor squawk 0462. So winds are at. Um, <laughs> so I don't like to use 36 over at Braden, and I'll explain to you why. And everybody's going to say, Oh, I know over there. I'll just land there. Because I can't, for the life of me, you know, the, the three, three, five, three, six kind of goes uphill. So you land it. Yeah, one victory radar contact. And you have to have altimeter three zero. You have to have the runway kind of come up to you, you said you're to and just like that. I, I can't figure. It. I can't. I can't do it. What I end up doing is, you know, I kind of hit it, and I kind of get up in the air, it ground effects again. And by the time I do all that and try to get it back down, the runway is only nineteen hundred. I go around, I'm like, screw it. Um, but I should practice doing that runway. Um, I know, I know. I know what you're saying. Uh, but I'll get it down, Pat. I landed I landed on that runway once uh, with my Grumman, and uh, it was a challenge. Um, but I, got, I should practice that. 1-8 is simple. Now, the other reason why I like to use 1-8 um, is because um, the other end of the runway, it's all fields. Uh, on the opposite, if you've taken 3-6, and the other end of the runway is the bank and all these homes and stuff like that. So I do like taking off a 1-8. And, uh, oh, so, yeah, whatever. All right, we're going to switch tanks. Actually, we're okay. We got the full still on there. So let's check, uh, looking good. Yeah, so we're going to use 1-8. <laughs> I know winds are calm. I just said winds are calm. Use the most northern uh, runway and 3-6 uh, is the most northern you can get. <laughs> right? I know. Uh, but you don't have to use a northernmost runway uh, to winds are calm. The so only time that you should really use it every time, but it's, a, it's just, you know, one of those things where you should uh, but it's not a rule. Um, is if, unfortunately, if traffic is uh, using that in a pattern, you want to use that runway. It's the right thing to do for that. So, the runway over here is 1956, um, and it's only 165 feet. Okay. Got to get the, on the numbers and just come in nice. Good morning, approach November one eight eight Tango Sierra thirteen thousand descending nine thousand. We have Charlie. All right, let's start at descent. Tango Sierra on side approach on town altimeter three zero one six. Expect the visual runway six approach. Thirty sixteen. We'll expect anything, sir. And now down uh, Mooney eight of November. Mooney eight of November. Go ahead. Uh, requesting uh, descent sort of my destination. 7 November, descend your discretion, advise field and site. A discretion of my discretion, I'll advise on a brazen site, sir. 8 of November. Okay. So let's put a little mixture in because it's going to be cranky when I pull the power back a little bit. Your descent and maintain 6,000. 6,000, 8 tank, sir. I'm sorry, beat you. So, so 1,400, did I say that correctly, information? So 1,400 is a pattern altitude. So let's put the. Um, uh, the, altim uh, the altitude uh, indicator here, or reminder, I should say, not indicator, down to uh, 1,400. And 
there's my my one of my points here is that factory uh, nuclear factory for power. I could even I have that as a reference point to go into Braden. I know the ridge line is to my right here. That ridge line goes all the way up to Orange County. If you ever get lost in this area, go to the ridge line and go up north. And then I can see the steam from the factory um, if the winds are calm or where they're going. And they're calm. It's pretty much going straight up. So I would do a, uh, a left 45 midfield, 1E. Uh, let's monitor Braden Air Park now. Let's see. 12300 here if anybody's home there. Beachhead, Antango Sierra, descend to maintain 3000, direct Shaggy for the visual 6. Descend on 3000, direct Shaggy for the visual 6, they take us here. Okay, looking good for the power setting on the descent. You know what I forgot to do? And I gotta put it on that checklist, I tell myself every time, and probably on the last couple of videos, I gotta put reminder to set this altimeter as well as a backup. It's very easy to do, I gotta remind myself to do that, so I'm gonna put it on that checklist, a little tape on the top, and just uh, make sure I set the uh, backup instrument for my barometer setting. Okay, a little bouncy down here. We got ridges on kind of both sides. So the wind kind of gets going in some spots. You can't ask for a better day to fly. It's beautiful today. And it's not 95 degrees with humidity at 75, 80%. So it'll be a good day to fly. Okay, we're all looking good. Everything's in the green. We'll do our landing checklist shortly. As the GUMPS is the, the acronym. War traffic says that uh, two and a half out to south inbound for two one now. Well, and I don't know if that's the airport. Uh, with Braden, this area is difficult only because there's farmlands everywhere and there's all kinds of spots. So sometimes you don't you, you lose the airport when you, you see it, you lose it right away. So I know to go by the uh, factory here, and it should be off to most of my 45, um, but you can lose it pretty quickly. It's a small airport, and the runways are really narrow, and short, really. Okay, we're all looking good. So ground level, we're at Fort the saying here, we're at 1930 feet above the ground. Uh, Braden is actually in sight. See the hangar. I can see the solar farm. So that's that's Braden. It's got to be Braden right there. Just give it a few more. Uh, there's no traffic in the area here at all. I don't see no traffic. Uh, actually, I do see one guy right here. Uh, he's up. He's going up. I don't see him on here though. Oh, there he is. See, he's actually operating. Oh. And downtown, Booney uh, uh, November Airport's in sight, sir. Okay. Booney eight seven November appears to be one in the pattern south of Braden. Radar service terminated. Twelve KFR. Free change approved. KFR to get approved. Watch their traffic. Thank you. Eight seven November. You said it tangled Sierra Leone Valley International. Eleven o'clock. One zero miles. We've got it. Anything, sir? Uh, Braden Airport, good morning. Uh, Mooney, 8th of November is about 8 and a half miles out to the uh, northeast. Inbound for uh, 1 8. We'll be coming in on a 45 for the midfield. Braden. Okay. Great traffic, supporting the traffic pattern to the east, Braden East. You wake, play or stay. 
Sound Advisory Only Airport. The FR Automated Weather Advisory. Wind calm. Visibility Niner. Sky condition. Clear. Temperature 20 Celsius. Altimeter 3016. Density altitude missing. Watch for the departing traffic. I have him on here. Um, 8286 November is the airplane. It's kind of going out to the east, so we should be fine. Um, now off the airport. I got it back. Okay, looking good. We're looking good. Our speeds are coming down nicely. Alright, so we're going to put the landing lights on. So he's at my altitude. Now he's heading uh, still east. I'm going to look out for him if I can see him. Okay, got the airport back in sight, by the way. Everybody's traffic. Uh, Mooney, 8 for November on a 2.5 mile 45. For the midfield left down 118. Right. Okay, so, Windsor comms, I get no help from a... Approaching altitude. Thank you. I get no help from any uh, headwinds to help me kind of float a little bit. So we're going to make sure we hit that. Hit those numbers. Hey, Braden traffic. Uh, Mooney, 8th of November is midfield. Left downwind for 1-8. Braden, be a full stop. Okay, so let's get... Situated here, so we have gas. Uh, undercarriage not yet, so we'll stop right there for a second. Let's get midfield here. We're just turning in. All right, looking good. Now we're beating the one eight numbers. That's how fast that went. <laughs> okay. Trim up a little bit. All right, so let's pull up the power back a little bit, and let's pull up a little bit. Get that gear speed. So we have the gases on. Okay, one, under 120, gear's coming down. Very easy, you lock that right in. That gear light, indicator gear's down, green, and then we have on the Dynon here is green, the gear is down. So then we're gonna throw in some flaps. So gas, undercarriage, mixture. Now prop come in, full forward. Very easy, keep your hand on the throttle. Now we're gonna trim up. Trim. Every time you put a, a notch in here with the flaps, you gotta trim. All right, one more notch. Flaps, looking good, another swipe of trim. And Braden traffic, uh, Mooney is turning left face now for 1-8. Braden, okay. 45 degrees over the shoulder. And one more notch of flaps here, we should be at full. Full flaps are in, trim up. And Braden traffic, uh, Mooney is turning final for 1-8, full stop, Braden. Okay, so we're all set for a go around. Okay. Leaving altitude. So gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. I'm on the fullest. So watch our speed as we come in here. Wind traffic, seven seven three seven. Alpha, departing to the west. Last call. Wind traffic. Landing light is on. Strobes are on. Five hundred. And braided traffic, moving short final. One eight, break, full stop. A little bit of a crosswind. That's per the wind sock there. The east. Bit of a slip here, a little, little over speed. Looking good. I detect that gear is locked. Nice. 
bricks. Right, here's the uphill. See, you didn't see the end of the runway back there? And now it goes downhill. You have to kind of come in and let the plane uh, catch the runway. By the time I mess around with all that, I'm halfway down. Okay, so we made it to Braden. Get that fuel pump off. Save the fuel pump. That's the end of the runway right there, so. Made her up. I have Braden traffic. Moody's back taxi on 1 8 now for parking. Braden. Uh, pull that mixture out a little bit. Flaps her up. Fuel pumps are off. We'll keep the lane light on or on the runway. So there you have it. It's a Braden. I got a busy schedule ahead of me today. I got the uh, volunteer today for the Phillipsburg Emergency Squad. And um, from there, I got to fly back to Orange. And then I'm going to well, get change out of this. Fly back to Orange, uh, get Duke, um, if it all pans out, and fly Duke. Um, 130 nautical miles north. Um, I actually forgot the identifier in the airport, uh, but it's actually a really nice approach, and I forgot what it was. Uh, but like, folks, thanks so much for flying along. You no, know, I appreciate all the support. Facebook, thank you so much for that. Over 16,000 followers now, and and uh, that's a, a great accomplishment. I was excited when I got a thousand. And uh, Braden traffic, uh, Mooney clear, 1-8 Braden. So thank you for all that support. Uh, I'm on Instagram now, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Put some stuff on there, Facebook. Like always folks, if you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate that. We got that, fly we got that flying in, a little barbecue uh, tomorrow, Saturday, 18th. By the time this video posts, that will be over. Go always, guys, fly safe, be safe. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Pressure. Caution.